Hey guys, another day, another lecture about bleeding and coagulation disorders. In the previous video, we have talked about hereditary angioedema. Today, let's talk about crazy mnemonic about it. And let's get started. So here's a quick summary of hereditary angioedema. Autosomal dominant disease leading to deficiency of C1 inhibitor, which increases colloquially leading to increased bradykinin. When you have increased bradykinin, you have contraction of non-vascular smooth muscles, such as your bronchioles, increased vessel permeability, natriuresis and vasodilation together leading to hypotension, and increased pain due to inflammation. We have episodic attacks of angioedema and pain. They last between two to three days and they resolve in one to two days. We start with a trigger, then a prodrome leading to symptoms. The trigger could be anything, specifically dental procedures. Prodrome including tingling, nausea, etc. And then the symptoms, all of these symptoms, including angioedema, abdominal pain, but there is no urticaria, no itching, and no pitting which distinguishes hereditary angioedema from allergic angioedema or allergic urticaria. Diagnosis, you need the family history, you need the trigger prodrome symptoms, and you need the labs. C1 is normal, C2 and 4 are decreased, C1 inhibitor is decreased, that's the whole definition. Bradykinin is high, precolicrin is low, high molecular weight kinogen is low. Why is precolicrin low? It has been converted into colicrin. High molecular weight kinogen is low because it has been converted into bradykinin. Treatment, do's and don'ts. Do give C1 inhibitor. Do give icataband. Don't give steroids, antihistamine and epinephrine. And heaven forbid, never ever ever give ACE inhibitors. Now to the mnemonic, the etiology, the three subtypes. Type 1 is a decreased amount of the enzyme. So in type 1, C1 INH is none. Type 2, the C1 INH is too weak. Normal amount, decreased function. Type 3, we have a problem with factor 12. 12 has three digits in Roman numerals. Thank God for the Roman Empire because it doesn't work in English. Another mnemonic. Three sounds like tree. And tree, remember the story of Adam and Eve. Eve, type 3, is estrogen dependent. I'm officially crazy. Another mnemonic, hereditary angioedema. H, high molecular weight condition is low. H, hypotension. E, episodic attacks. They last one to three days. D, autosomal dominant. D, deficiency of C1 estrase inhibitor. D, dental works or dental procedures trigger the problem. Cool. Ittery, it sounds like inhibitor, because the C1 inhibitor is deficient. Angioedema, A, ACE inhibitors are contraindicated. O, ouch, abdominal pain. D, dry cough, A, airway obstruction. Could be an emergency. And if you don't have the available medications, you should intubate. Don't forget you can get my 50 hematology cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. These cases are awesome. Again, patreon.com forward slash medicosis. The B mnemonic of bradykinin. Bradykinin, pre B or P. Pain, perpetual, which means chronic. Pro-inflammatory, big time. Increased vessel permeability into pus and angioedema, which is perilous, meaning dangerous. Upper airway obstruction due to angioedema can lead to hypoxia. Bradykinin bronchoconstriction leading to dry cough. Big vessel vasodilation. Big time vessel vasodilation. Because when the vessel dilates, it becomes big. Bradykinin hyponatremia and hypotension. Some pharmacology mnemonics. Two drugs that can treat the acute attacks of angioedema are icatabant and ecalantide. Icataband, Icataband, I'm a bradykinin receptor blocker. Bradykinin receptor blocker. And by the way, it blocks B2 receptor, which is a bradykinin receptor. And again, T for two. 
Echolantide, it eliminates calicrin. It's a calicrin inhibitor. Calicrin inhibitor. We're done with hereditary angioedema. Next time we'll talk about acquired angioedema. The patient is older, if you notice. Hey guys, I need your support, need your help. Please go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis and support this channel. I would like to produce more videos, even more than 10 videos every week. And I can't do it without you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Get all of my notes that I'm drawing and get my 50 hematology cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.